all right 10th d section today i'm going to discuss the difference between internal link internal style sheet and external style sheet i will be making one code first of all i will be making in internal style then the same coding i will convert it into external style so that you get thorough clarity between the two okay so uh, right now let us begin first of all with the internal style sheet internal style sheet already i have told you we will remain in the same web page we will not make any separate file okay we will remain in the same web page and we will be using the style tag inside the head tag right like i am taking style tag over here and the attribute of style tag is type maybe text file or maybe css file what actually i am going to do this is the heading coat of the day sorry and this is the coat the coat of the day heading i have taken in h1 and the actual coat i have enclosed inside the paragraph tag i am going to apply the css properties on h1 as well as the paragraph tag okay clear so when you are creating the internal style sheet you will use style as tag inside the head tag and inside the style tag you will format you will apply the style rules to all those tags which you want to format like first of all i want to format h1 so this is the content of the h1 and uh, these are the properties which i am going to apply on it font family arial font size i am taking 60 pixels i am going to represent it in bold form i am going to underline it text decoration underline right then uh, i am applying text transform i want to display the heading in upper case i want my heading to be appearing in the center of the web page okay so these are all the relevant properties which i have applied on the heading coat of the day and uh, color also i want to display it in blue color clear to all so these are the properties which i have applied on h1 am i clear up till here please raise your thumb and give your feedback so that i can get to know how many are attending the lecture sincerely dishant srishti riyan ishapreet vanita saksham grover seyam parina akshit gitanshu aryan prabhjot gitanshu bhanu okay that's nice good all right now next i am going to format the paragraph tag 
so in order to format the paragraph tag i am going to take these properties font family i am taking rockwell you can take any font family style that is your choice font size i am taking 40 pixels okay i am going to represent my code in italic so i am taking font style beta these are the common properties which will be used again and again everywhere these are the common properties okay so properties which are very common i hope they are totally clear to you now then color i am taking here green then uh, text transform i want to represent it in lower case i want to specify the word spacing 10 pixels okay any other property i don't think required so i close it here so these are the two tags on to which i have applied the style rules now here i will close the style tag बेटा ये हम इंटरनल स्टाइल बना रहे हैं अभी अभी मैं इसी कोडिंग को एक्सटर्नल में भी कन्वर्ट करके दिखाऊंगा ओके देन आई क्लोज द हेड टैग ओवर हेयर राइट नाउ आफ्टर क्लोजिंग द हेड टैग You take the normal HTML coding, बिल्कुल normal coding जैसे आप type करते हो no need to use any attributes and all that. Body tag, okay. Uh, if you want to specify the body background color, you can uh, apply the CSS property background color gray. okay h1 coat of the day close the h1 tag and uh, take this code enclosed inside the paragraph tag simple coding i have typed then close the body tag and close the html tag right i am going to save this uh, coding under documents 10th d internal dot html okay so let us see the browser view check it out beta check the browser view all of you a uh, little bit change i can do here i remove this br from here and uh, i am giving it red color because green is not so much visible <coughs> sorry yeah check it out am i clear to everyone this is the internal style now same coding i i just give one minute to you all please go through the coding carefully i am scrolling through the page so all of you please uh, go through the coding minutely okay right because in this coding only i am going to represent it using the external style
now external style as already i discussed yesterday we will be making two files okay so i create the duplicate of this 10th d external dot html save okay and uh, second file which i'll be making here is uh, sample 2 dot css right <coughs> now this is my sam this is my css file i am going to open uh, another file also external file i'm going to open yeah remove this part where you have applied the style rules eliminate this part remove this part now i'm going to start external style when you are working with the external style sheet you will use link tag inside the head tag link tag is an empty tag and link tag you will be using inside the head tag first attribute is rel that is relation the value of relation attribute is style sheet that we are creating the style sheet okay then type equal to text oblique css okay then href now here i am taking the href attribute href stands for hyperlink reference you are going to connect you are going to link your html file with the css file you are going to link your html file with the css file so href attribute will take the name of the target page to which you want to link to and my target page is the css page whose name i have given sample2.ss css sorry okay right then close the head tag and rest of the coding is normal i save it here clear this is all what you have to do the only one command you have to insert this command will always be used whenever you want to make external style sheet and it will be used in the head tag and remember link tag is empty tag it has no closing tag and three attributes of link tag are rel that is relation type which type of file text file or css and hyperlink reference that is href now i'm going to create your i'm going to open your css file uh, this is the css file now in the css file we will be just taking the tags nothing we are going to do only and only the selectors these tags on which you are applying the css properties they are known as selectors in css jise aap tag kehte ho html mein css mein usko selector kehte and uh, every selector has curly bracket the name of the property and the value of the property this complete is the property this is the name of the property this is the value of the property and uh, the name and the value they are separated by colon they are separated by colon 
and the entire property is terminated by semicolon right so this is your css file whatever changes you want to make in the properties do it only in this file no need to touch the html file html file tab touch karo agar aapne kuch data aur add karna ho agar aapne properties mein change karna hai to sirf css file ko open karna hai css file mein changes karenge aap and the same changes will be reflected automatically to your html file okay now let us see the browser view check it out this is the output via external style sheet is the browser view clear to everyone yes 10th class browser view is visible to all srishti say yes vanita saksham grover sayam parina aryan prabjot bisam bhanu tanya prinsi lakshya tandan mahak navya okay let me see who is not raising the thumb ryan kalra not attending the class raina kalra also not attending the lecture clear now suppose uh, i want to make changes over here uh yeah i want to make some change i want to give this color as aqua okay and uh, i am giving this as lower case okay and this i give as upper case okay and here i am giving the new property letter spacing 5 pixels okay so let us save it and let us see the changes in the browser view check it out check out the changes done now uh, you might have noticed that i have made changes only in the css file and automatically the change get reflected in the browser view clear clear to all any doubt any questions now i am going to open this file and one new thing i'm going to do that is i'm going to create table here so let us create one table in order to create table we will be using the table tag i won't be making uh, formatting over here that i will be doing in css okay so uh, table and uh, i am taking the first row here uh, td i am taking number 1 here i close the td tag i close i take another td here i write here english then i close this tr then again i took tr here and i in this i take number 2 number 2 i am taking hindi okay i am closing the tr then again i took tr and this time i have taken td3 
then I have taken TD and I write here Punjabi and I close the TD over here and I close the TR. Finally, I close the table tag over here. Okay, got it. So I save this coding and I move on to the sample to CSS file. So first of all, I'm going to make properties on the table tag. So what all properties we can take on table? First is border width. I'm taking four. Border color. I am taking mm, yellow. Okay. Then border style. I am taking uh, dashed. Okay. Then background color of table. I am taking pink. Uh, text align the entire data I want in the center. Right. And uh, font family, I am taking um, Arial. Okay. Now I format the TR. TR. Uh, you can take TD. Uh, color of the font I am taking blue. Okay. And uh, I am taking the font size as 30 pixels. Okay. Yeah. These are all the relevant uh, properties. Okay. You can uh, go with the TR tag also. TR per aap ye border wali properties laga dijiye. Yehi teen border jo mene yaha pe liye. Okay. Uh, border width color you can give here as red. No, you can give green color over here. And uh, you can apply the next type of style that is ridge. Right? Clear? So you save your coding. Now you go to browser view and click on refresh. This is the table that you have got. Okay. Now, so many changes more you can do here. You can apply the border properties here also. Uh, color you can give here as blue. And the border style you can give as groove. Right. Check it. Okay. Clear to all. Yeah, if you want to increase the height and the width, uh, that you can do it in the direct in here also. Height equal to 200, width equal to 200. See the outer area, outer border, the yellow color border. I increase the width so that it is more clear to you. I make it six and I give the color as red. Check it. This is how you can apply the properties on the table also. Have you all noticed? Yes, class. 
please raise your thumb. Tenth D, please try to give the feedback fast. Don't uh, compel me to repeat one line again and again. Immediately try to give the feedback, okay? Only Srishti thumb is raised. You can bring the table in the center of the web page by giving a line equal to center. Clear to all? So complete CSS uh, uh, how to apply properties on table and how to apply properties on the rest of the complete I have explained to you. I am going to show you the coding over here. Go through the coding minutely and then ask any doubt if you have. Abhi dhyan se dekho ye sara table andar se blue color ka hai. Text blue color ka hai. आप चाहो तो इंडिविजुअल चेंजेस कर सकते हो वो आपको यहां पे करने पड़ेंगे इधर इनलाइन इनलाइन स्टाइल लगाकर जैसे आप ये चाहते हो कि इस वाली रो का जो कलर है कलर यू वांट कलर हेयर एज let us give green color okay or uh, you apply it inside the td right Check it. Hindi has appeared in green color and you can change the color of the next uh, cell also. You can specify the uh, brown color over here. Okay. You can make uh, it bold. Okay. You can increase the size to 50 pixels. Clear to all. Let us do one more thing. Let us apply the padding here. Let us see if we apply padding. What is the result? 30. Padding. Bottom 30. Padding. Left 30 and padding right also 30 okay clear to all see here jo table mein aap cell padding nahi karte the css mein wo padding hai clear to everyone Yes, please. Am I clear? Uh, you can change the outer border appearance. It is dashed. Aap isko uh, outset kar lo. And increase the border to 8. Yeah. 
और जो स्टाइल्स हो सकते हैं देर कैन बी मेनी स्टाइल्स आउटसेट देन इन सेट ओके देन यू कैन हैव डॉटेड राइट चेक इट आउट चेक द डॉटेड बॉर्डर देन यू कैन हैव डॉटेड की जगह आप कर सकते हो ग्रूव ओके यू कैन इंक्रीज द साइज टू सी द ग्रूव इफेक्ट am i clear to everyone so this is how you can apply the css properties on table clear to all